Diana, and because this is all taking place in Germany, the tiny village is just finding out about this, and this is so hard for everyone concerned. I spoke with Anthony Radzky, Radzi's family on the phone. They're much too upset to speak with us, but they said they were so looking forward to this trip for him. It was supposed to be the trip of a lifetime. It's an unspeakable tragedy, and we are doing whatever we can, and we will do whatever we can to support and care about the people in our in our community. They were with their host, their students stay with host families. So um, they, that they, it was just a part of the trip, part of the social part of the trip. They visit museums, they visit all sorts of places. This was just in the context of one of those um, visits to different places around the city and around the area with the uh, host families. The acting superintendent of the Manchester Community Schools is stunned by the death in Germany of one of their students. The family of Anthony Radzi tells me that he recently posted this picture to Facebook about the wonderful time he was having in Germany. Anthony was on a two-week trip to the Berlin area with more than a dozen other students from Manchester High School studying German when he drowned on a trip to a lake. The family tells me that Anthony was looking forward to his senior year and starting to plan for college. Instead, the district is helping his family try to plan his funeral. Our plan right now is for students to, at 11 a.m. tomorrow and 11 a.m. on Friday, to have students come and we will have mental health professionals, of which we're still working, as well as clergy here, to help support and process with the students. Our uh, parents, of course, are welcome as well. And we're trying, we've only got two days out planned. We're going to do as much as we need to to support Manchester students. Just heartbreaking for everyone that's involved in all of this. The students are expected to come home tomorrow. Many of them don't want to leave without bringing Anthony's body back with them, but he has to stay there because they must do an autopsy before he can be released from Germany. The consulate is now involved. We understand from the family they are not planning on going there. They were afraid they would have to, but the consulate is trying to clear the way to send his body back here, but it may take up to a week for them to send his body back. But again, the village is just reeling. They have done this trip for 20 years. They have never had any sort of problem. It's part of an exchange program. Our students go, go there in June. German students come here in July. They are devastated. Reporting live in Washtenaw County, Diana, back to you.